Welcome to casterscorner.com. I'm your host, Cleo, here for another toy of the day. Uh, you can go to casterscorner.com, you see right there, uh, for a full gallery of these toys. Yes, there are multiple toys in this review. Um, you can follow us. We are at Casters Corner on all social media. That's how you spell it. And uh, check out the Cornercast podcast. New episodes coming early November. Um, we're going to get back into the swing of things. I'm going to record a couple, and then we'll start back up. Um, so what do we got for you today? Um, we've been just rocking and rolling. I think I realize I have 64 days or 63 days, depending on where this fits into that numbering. And I've got like my list here of about 40, 40 toys in this room alone. Um, and so, and actually probably more at this point, cause more, you can see I got some stuff that already came in. Um, we got some stuff down there. We, we it's just everywhere. So, um, so we're going to take a look at the newest wave of Marvel retro legends here. Um, so I, you know, I've talked about like why I like this line. I think it's a value line, right? It's about $10 a figure. Um, they are very classically and colorfully inspired by the comic books. They are a throwback to, see, I, I don't remember having the five POA Kenners as much as some articulated ones, um, later with Return of the Jedi and such. And then kind of, I moved right into like superpowers and stuff. So, you know, five POA is fine. Five points of articulation. So you've got the, um, shoulders, legs here, and head. So those are five. These are actually seven because they've got swivels on their wrists here or forearms. And so this wave consists of Loki, uh, U.S. agent, a symbiote or black suited Spider-Man. We get another X-Men in Storm. We got our Silver Surfer here and Stealth Armor Iron Man. Now, you know, this line depends heavily on parts reuse. It's like most lines today. Um, but more so because, like, Wave 4, we got Wave 4, Wave 1 Iron Man, or Bonus Wave, Wave 1, however you want to call it, next to Stealth Armor, it's the exact same figure, just repainted. I, I hope that every Wave or every other Wave doesn't have another colored Iron Man. This is probably one line where I personally don't want multiple upon multiple upon multiple um, of the same character. I don't mind a couple here and there. Like, you know, getting getting Spider-Man here next to this Spider-Man. He is, you know, color difference here. This, this is a throwback to the first the, the Spider-Man in um, the Secret Wars line. You can go check out our past uh, retro beginnings series over the summer to take a look at our secret war set and what i like about this is two thwip hands on this spider-man only one on this one with a gripping hand on it so there are slight differences between the two which you know kind of for me add a little more value honestly i think that's what it comes down to i wouldn't expect much difference here between cap and u.s agent u.s agent of course just a cap costume in different colors um really no difference here even down to the shield same shield same shape same clip right there no difference there and i really wouldn't expect much more than that although i will comment they gave him back pegs or peg holes here these shields are not meant to be grasped they're meant to clip onto their arms so while you probably and i haven't tried this yet you no you can't I was going to say, if you can put the clips into their back, it's it's a little too thick, so it doesn't fit in their back. Um, but at some point, if we were to get shields with pegs on the back, so they can go on the back of the characters, that would be amazing. Um, so we got Cap, we got US Agent, we got Spider-Man, we got Iron Man. Um, Loki being an original here, but using that same kind of normal buck that we've seen with Cyclops here, pretty similar to that. Although he's got the cap boots here, but the rest of them kind of, you can see the similarities in the grips and the hands and things like that. Um, Storm, we get another female in the line. I'm happy to see that trend continue. 
Um, I want to see more females in the line, definitely. Uh, very 70s, 80s inspired storm looking here. Her articulation is limited, but not as much as you would think for a figure with such a giant hair do here. Um, I usually expect it to kind of just stop, but like she can look right and left pretty easily without disrupting the figure at all. So there's something here that works better than Legends, um, the six inch Legends for sure. Uh, but I dig the costume. I really like it. Um, she's got her cape, her wings. I don't really need much more than that. I, I think these are like idealistic representations of these characters for me. And um, finally, we have Silver Surfer, and I, I would be very upset if the Surfer didn't come with his board. So Surfer does come with his surfboard. Um, he's probably pretty plain. Um, he doesn't share the um, squared off head that Iceman had. The rest of them are actually, Surfer looks a little bit thinner to me, um, a little bit trimmer. Trying to see if I've got somebody else that kind of matches up. Um, he's using the Spider-Man body, so it's pretty slim there. Um, but the, you know, I I don't I don't object to to reusing parts. I don't object to them being pretty simple. I like accessories where appropriate. Um, Silver Surfer having his board, um, U.S. Agent having his shields. I think those are really appropriate. Um, we didn't get any accessories with any of the other characters. No, no web lines for Spidey. Uh, no Ion Blast or Proton Blast from Iron Man. Um, no electricity for Storm. And no daggers for Loki. And I know that the accessories would probably have to be pretty small. And I mean, we have plenty of accessories from other lines that we can surely use to really kind of accent the characters that we have. But... I guess I'm okay with it as long as the price doesn't go up. If these go to $12 or $13, um, it makes it a much tougher purchase um, at that price point with no accessories. And I'm wholly a figure that has an accessory. So, I mean, I would look at it that way. Um, it's one of my favorite lines of the year because it just feels so throwback and simplistic. Um, I'm not worried about all the articulation points. I'm not really worried on how to pose them. Um, they're, they're pretty standard sculpts. They're pretty, you know, standard how they can sit, how they can stand, where they can sit, where they can stand. Um, most of them are pretty well balanced. Storm is a little top heavy because of her hair. So it makes it a little difficult to kind of move her. But I mean, this, this is... This is as close to perfection as you can get to kind of represent your, your stuff. And I think that that's kind of the magic of this line is that you don't have to be a completist if you don't want to. Um, cool card art as well. And um, it doesn't take up much space. I think that's why I love Lego minifigures. I love um, mini makes. This, this review is coming soon. Um, and I like the fact that these don't take up too much room. And so the idea of these, I mean, you could really build a really fun display. Whereas when I do my Sentinel display someday, um, when I get them, um, it, that's going to take up a lot of space. A display for these guys probably would fit on one of those shelves with a little bit of um, fun, fun, uh, fun dio work. Um, but they're small enough to do that. So... Wave 4 is hitting now. All six of them are new. Previous waves kind of mixed in that kind of early wave. So this wave is completely new. All six new characters. I'm hoping during uh, PulseCon coming up from Hasbro next week that we'll get an update on, on Wave 5. I know Wave 4 is just hitting now. Um, GameStop and uh, Target got them first. I'm sure they're going to show up at Walmart soon. Or your favorite local comic book store. Um, if they're ordering them and so 10 bucks cool figure really good representation of the heroes that you love so um and great colors like the colors on these are just sensational um i should have done that with this the sensational spider-man um 
So you can check out a full gallery of these guys up on casterscorner.com. You can follow us. We are at Casters Corner on all social media. You can check out the Corner Cast podcast, catch up on old episodes before we start up our new ones in November, um, and uh, subscribe to the channel. The more of you that subscribe, the more cool things we get to do, and then we get to share them with you, and that's been the most fun of this. So um, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate all the support. Um, all of our new subscribers, thank you so much, and our watchers, we really appreciate it. Um, and as we say every night before we say goodnight, Jaxie, we love you, and we miss you, and we wish you were here. And we'll see you tomorrow night for uh, all-new Toy of the Day here on CastersCorner.com. Have a good night, everybody.